Hey guys, it's me, Ingenerea. In today's video, I'm going to teach you guys about the shortcut method in surveying. The topic that I'm going to discuss is under the topic of error and mistakes, which is the most probable value. So, let's start! As I mentioned earlier, our topic is the most probable value. What is the most probable value? The most probable value is the value which has more chances of being true than any other value. It can be found when the quantity is measured a number of times. I'll teach you guys a shortcut method in solving the most probable value. The example that I'm going to use is from the surveying book by Besabilia. The example is... The following interior angles of a triangle traverse were measured with the same precision. You can see in the shown table we have different stations, station A, station B, and station C. It also has corresponding value and number of measurement at each station. Station A has 39 degrees and 3 in measurement. Station B has 69 degrees and 4 in measurement. And Station C has 75 degrees and 2 in measurement. There are three questions in this example. First, determine the most probable value of angle A. Second, determine the most probable value of angle B. Third, determine the most probable value of angle C. We have different rules for weighted measurements when measuring distance and elevation. For this example, the rule is the weight is inversely proportional to the number of repetitions or measurements when measuring angle. The first step is to compute the sum of the interior angle. I know that you are familiar with the formula of the sum of the interior angle. The formula for the sum of the interior angle equals 180 times the quantity n minus 2, n represents for the number of sides. Since it was mentioned in the problem that interior angles of the triangle, so it means that the sum of the interior angles is 180 degrees. Just to make sure that we have the correct sum of the interior angles, here's the computation. Since it has three sides, the sum of the interior angle equals 180 times the quantity 3 minus 2 equals 180 degrees. The next step is to store the angle value in the corresponding variable in the calculator. The next step is to compute the sum of the given angles. The angle A has 39 degrees, the angle B has 65 degrees, and angle C has 75 degrees. The sum of those angles is 179 degrees. The next step is to get the value of the error. The formula to get the value of error is Error value equals corrected angle value minus measured angle value. The corrected angle is the sum of the interior angle, while the measured angle is the sum of the given angle. So in the given problem, the corrected angle is 180 degrees, and the sum of the given angle is 179 degrees. So, error value equals 180 degrees minus 179 degrees and the value of error is 1 degree. Let's store the error value in variable x. The next step is to solve the most probable value for each angle. The formula for most probable value is most probable value equals angle value plus error value times the quantity weight over total weight. 
The first question is determine the most probable value of angle A. The most probable value of angle A equals 39 degrees 18 minutes 27.69 seconds. The second question is determine the most probable value of angle B. The most probable value of angle B equals 65 degrees 13 minutes 50.77 seconds. The third question is determine the most probable value of angle C. The most probable value of angle C equals 75 degrees 27 minutes 41.54 seconds. The corrected angle or the sum of the interior angles is 180 degrees and it should be equal to the sum of the new corrected value of each angle. So let's add the new corrected value at each angle. As you can see, they are both equal to each other. As I mentioned earlier, the example that I've used is from the book of Besavilla. Here is the solution of Besavilla. You can see they have the same answers but in a different way of solving. For me, I recommend this calculator technique for those students taking the board exam. But for those still engineering students, I recommend the long solution to get to know the concept first. That's it guys. I hope you guys learned something about our topic today. If you have any questions about the topic today, just comment down below and I'll try my best to answer it. Thank you for watching it. Bye!